This video shows you how to set up sales accounts. If Apex Support have migrated your sales accounts, you will see the list here. Go to the orange bar again, click on Setup, hover over Financial, and then Sales Accounts. If you need to add other sales accounts, simply click on the button in the bottom right hand corner, New Sales Account, and this will open up the new sales account template. Add the code. This is what the accounts package will pick up. The short name is what the system will find it under, and here will be the full name of the accounts package. Enter address and contact details. The more information you add, the more you will be able to get out of the system. Financial details. This is a cash account, so I will tick this box. Cash accounts are for sales you make for customers who don't have a credit account with you. By ticking the cash account box, the system will automatically pick up details from the job to put onto the invoice. Click on save and it will show you a reminder. You can only use this account when it has a rate card attached to it. Once you have created your sales account, you will see additional tabs along the top of the account box. The first tab is the main tab. This shows you who you are doing business with. The second tab gives information that can be shared with a work provider, job clear down information, mapping, tracking, etc. and any notes should you wish to subcontract this job. Vehicle livery. This is very useful if you have company specific liveried vehicles that you wouldn't be permitted to use on other jobs. Job notifications information goes here. Give any information that you wish to be sent back to the club or customer can be done here via ANS if they are an ANS customer or here by email if not. You can also add scheduled reminders on each job. You can include the job in your stats screen, which we will cover later on. This is the general information. It's self-explanatory and easy to navigate around. The next tab is financial. This is how much you are going to charge for doing work for a specific company. You will select your rate card from here and any rate card can be applied to any account. If you have lots of trade customers such as body shops and dealerships, it could be useful to set up a set of company trade rates to save having an individual rate card for each customer. You can apply a rate discount here or any commission override that the drivers are paid here. If you wish this account to carry ad hoc charges, tick this box. Ad hoc charges are when a club might pay for the call out and the recovery, but the member has to pay for any specialist equipment. The system will allow you to create additional invoices for the cash customer on the same job without having to duplicate the job. This is useful as it will keep all of the details together in one place for additional sales for extra services, specialist equipment and parts on any job. The remittance tab allows you to apply either no remittance, require remittance or self-bill remittance so that you can tick off which jobs you have been paid for before it's exported over to your accounts package. If a job requires remittance, it will not be exported into your sales account until the cost has been remitted in the list. We will talk about this more later on. The next tab is statutory rates, which only apply if it's a police or highways account. Contracts. You can add any additional contracts in this section if you have specific contracts for companies. You can add additional nominal codes here. The Vehicles tab will allow you to put any of the company's vehicles into the system and you can tick a box here that only vehicles that are registered by your customer on that sales account can ever be collected. It's useful for fleet customers. Next is the Depots tab. If your customer has multiple depots, you can add these in here and also associate any vehicles that they have with depots so that the information automatically populates on the screen. The next tab allows you to add any attachments you may have, as well as email addresses and capabilities for individual customers.